greetings in the name of Jesus. God bless you today. God bless you today. God loves you. The God Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, He loves you. He cares about you. You are important to Him. You have you you are of great of great value to Him. He loves you and He wants it to bless you. He wants it to bless you. He wants you to be. He wants you to be saved. If you are not saved, he wants you to be saved. He wants you to have eternal life. He wants you to be happy eternally. He wants you to enjoy his presence. He wants you to enjoy his fellowship. He wants you to have to enjoy his friendship. He wants you to be in eternal and in eter He wants you to be in an eternal relationship with him, the God Almighty. He wants you to enjoy to, to enjoy to, to, to the greatness of his presence. He wants you to enjoy heaven. He wants you to enjoy his paradise. He wants you to, he wants you to, to be, to, to be healthy. He wants you to be, he wants you to, to be well. He wants you to be full of joy and gladness. He wants you to, to have a happy life. God loves you so much. He will, he loves you so much. He wants you to have, to, to, to have safety. He wants you to be secure and not only for, not only for now, but eternally. He wants you to be secure. He loves you and he wants it to show his love to you. He wants you, he wants it to show his love to, to you. He wants you, he wants it to shower you with his favor, with divine favor. He, he, he loves you so much. He loves you so much. God loves you. God loves you. Blessed be God. And if, you are a son of God, a daughter of God. You know the love of your father. You know how, you know how sweet he is. You know of his tenderness, of his love, of his kindness. God is so good. Our father God is so good. He's such a good daddy. He's such a good dad. He's such a good dad. He's our daddy, our heavenly daddy. And he's so, oh, he's so loving and so caring. Oh, what a wonderful God. What a wonderful God. So mighty and so kind at the same time. Blessed be God. So tender. So affectionate. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Oh God, we love you. Oh God, we cherish you. We honor you, God. Be magnified, God. To be glorified. To be exalted, God. God, I love you. I love you, my, I love you, my daddy. I love you for all the good you have done for me, God. Oh, I love you for saving me, for giving me eternal life. Blessed be God. And God, I pray, bless this person, Lord, who is hearing me, Lord, through this recording. I pray and ask you, Lord, to bless this person, God. I want this person, Lord, to be, to be happy. I want this person, Lord, to to, to have a, to, to receive from you, Lord, a spirit of wisdom and revelation into knowledge of you, Lord, into knowledge of yourself, Lord. I want this person, Lord, to enjoy your fellowship and your friendship. I ask you, Lord, to protect this person, Lord, to keep this person safe. I pray, God, to in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, God, to protect this person, God, to in Jesus' name. Lord, to give joy in the name of Jesus. Fill Lord, to fill with your joy, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, bless my brother and my sister, God, in Jesus' name. And if this person, Lord, is not yet born again, if this person, Lord, doesn't know you yet, Lord, I pray, God, in Jesus' name, Lord, Lord, I pray, lead this person into a saving, saving knowledge, Lord, of yourself, God, in Jesus' name. I pray, convict this person's heart. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, I pray, God, in Jesus' name, convict by your Holy Spirit. Persuade, convince this person, God, in Jesus' name, of who you are, Lord, and of your love. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, and give a revelation, Lord, of the importance of the blood of Jesus. Lord, God, reveal, Lord, your plan of redemption to this person. Your plan of salvation, Lord, of deliverance. Let this person know and understand and believe that you want to save him or her. Lord, you want to be a father to this person. Lord, you call this person to adoption, to sonship, to adoption, Lord, to become your, 
your child, your son, God, your daughter, God. Lord, you want to meet this person, Lord. Lord, conv convince this person, Lord, God, of who you are, Lord, in Jesus. And reveal yourself to this person, Lord, by your spirit and by your word. God, in the name of Jesus. And I, as I am speaking to this person, Lord, and as this person, Lord, is listening to this message, hearing this message, Lord, hearkening, Lord, to this message, God, I pray, God, in Jesus' name, Lord, I pray, Lord, that faith will come. In the name of Jesus, faith that comes by hearing, faith that comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I want this person, Lord, to have a covenant of partnership and friendship with you. Lord, I want this person, Lord, to be reconciled to God. I want this person, Lord, to be forgiven, to be forgiven, Lord, of his sins, of her sins, God. Lord, I want God, this person, Lord, to be purified and sanctified by the blood of Jesus, by the shed blood of Jesus. I want this person, Lord, to have eternal life. I do not want this person, Lord, to, to, to perish, but I want this person, Lord, to have eternal life. God, in Jesus' name. And Lord, I want my brother and my sister hearing me, Lord, to be strengthened mightily by your spirit and in his inner man. God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Lord, I made this person to prosper, Lord, in the name of Jesus in all things. Lord, to, to prosper, Lord, spiritually. And to prosper, Lord, to, to prosper, Lord, mentally. God, in Jesus' name, Lord, to have good, good thinking, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, sound with a sound mind. God, in Jesus' name, Lord, I want this person to be blessed with peace and with joy. Lord, in Jesus' name and with wisdom and understanding and discernment. In Jesus' name, I want this person, Lord, to prosper, God, in everything, Lord, in every way. God, in Jesus' name, to succeed in life, Lord, to succeed, Lord, in his or her studies, God. Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, to have a good job, good employment. God, in Jesus' name, Lord. And Lord God, I want a peace of mind for this person, Lord. I want a God for this person, Lord, to know you, Lord, in a personal way, Lord, and to walk with you, Lord, to walk with you, Lord, and you will let never, you will never leave, Lord, to the one who receives you and who trusts in you, Lord. Blessed be God and who receives Jesus as his Lord and Savior, Savior of his precious soul. Blessed be God. Bless, Lord, his precious this precious person, Lord, in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. And I believe, God, it is granted. And I say thank you, Lord. I'm grateful. Blessed be God. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, God. So today I have in my heart to speak to you about the importance of the blood of Jesus. I want to speak to you about the importance of the shed blood of Jesus, of the blood of his sacrifice. I want to speak to you about the importance of the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary, that was shed at the cross, to his, the precious blood of Jesus. Glory be to God. I want you to know that because of the blood of Jesus, because of the shed blood of Jesus, because of the shed blood of Jesus, you may, you 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 may you may you may have eternal life. Blessed be God, glory be to God. It is because of the shed blood of Jesus that we may have eternal life. It is because of the blood of Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus, that there is redemption for us human beings. There is redemption. There is a the, the, the redemption. There is a deliverance. There is a deliverance from the slavery to, 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 to sin and slavery to the devil. There is a deliverance from this slavery. There is, a, there is a redemption. We are, we may be set free from the consequences of our sins. We may be set free from the devil and from, from sin, which has ensnared us. Glory be to God. Blessed be God. There's redemption through the blood of Jesus. Through the precious blood of Jesus. 
It is redemption. It is salvation. So that we will not perish. Glory be to God. But we be saved. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Saved from contamination. From eternal damnation. Glory be to God. From perdition. Glory be to God. There is redemption. Through the blood of Jesus. Without the blood of Jesus. It would not be any redemption for us. We would have perished. We would have we would have be, been uh, contempt uh, eternally, eternally separated from God, uh, and uh, there would have been no, no, no real life for us, no joy, no peace, uh, no joy, no peace, uh, uh, no contentment, no satisfaction. But would have been tormented eternally. But uh, because of the blood of Jesus, uh, glory be to God. Uh, there is a deliverance. Uh, there is. Uh, Blessed be God, salvation. There is redemption. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Blessed be God. We have been saved from the devil. And we have been saved from the just judgment of God upon us. Blessed be God. God is a righteous God. And we had, we had sinned. And we deserved punishment, chastisement. And we would have gone to hell. Because we deserve a punishment, but God wanted to forgive us. And uh, blessed be God through believing into into sacrifice of Jesus, to be, through believing in His sac in His sacrificial death, we may be saved. Glory be to God. We may be saved eternally. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Blessed be God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus has rescued us. Blessed be Jesus. There is forgiveness of sin through the shed blood of Jesus. There is reconciliation to God through the shed blood of Jesus. We may have a covenant of partnership and friendship with God because of the blood of Jesus. There is adoption to sonship because of the blood of Jesus. There is purification and sanctification for us. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. The blood of Jesus purifies and the blood of jesus wash us clean blessed be god and there's eternal life glory be to god the god kind of life the god kind of life the god kind of life it's the same quality of, of life that god has it is not just living eternally blessed be god but it is enjoying the, the same kind of life that god has that he enjoys Blessed be God, and it is to have et eternal relationship with God. Glory be to God. Eternal relationship with it. Uh, glory be to God with the giver of life himself. Glory be to God, and to be filled with his spirit. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, uh, to be in his presence and be never separated from him. Never separated from the, the, the spirit of joy. It's a spirit of life. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. The blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus, it there is peace. It there is peace. We have peace. And we have joy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be God. Because of the shed blood of Jesus, it there is, it there is resurrection. And there is life. There is resurrection for us. There is life and there is healing because of the shed blood of Jesus. Glory be to God in Romans chapter 3, verse 20 to 26. It is written, for, for, no, for no person will be justified in, in his sight by observing the works prescribed by the law. For no person will be justified will be made righteous, will be acquitted, will be judged acceptable in his sight, meaning in God's sight, by, by, by observing the works prescribed by the law. For, for the real function of the law is to make men recognize and be conscious of sin, not, not, mere, not mere perception, but in acquaintance with sin, which works toward repentance, Faith and holy character, but but now the righteousness of God has been revealed independently and altogether apart from the law. Although, although actually 
it, it is attested by the law into prophets namely the righteousness of god which comes by believing with personal trust and confident reliance on jesus christ the messiah and and it is met for all who believe for for there is no distinction since all have sinned and are falling short of the of the honor and glory which god bestows and receives all all are all are justified and made righteous and, and uh, all are justified and made upright and, and in right standing with god freely and gratuitous, gratuitously by, by his grace his unmerited favor and mercy through the redemption which is provided in the christ jesus whom whom god put forward before the eyes of all as a mercy seat and propitiation by his blood the cleansing and life giving sacrifice of atonement and reconciliation to to be received through faith this is was this was to show god's righteousness because in his divine forbearance he, he had passed over and ignored former sins with, with, without punishment it was it was to demonstrate and prove at, at the present time in, in the now season that, that he himself is righteous and that is justifies and accepts and as as righteous him who has true faith in jesus it, it was to demonstrate and prove at the present time in the now season that he himself that god himself is righteous and that and that god justifies and accepts as righteous as righteous him who has true faith in jesus do you have true faith in jesus have faith in jesus have true faith in jesus blessed be god glory be to god so you see because of the blood of jesus because of the blood of jesus because of the shed blood of jesus if you have faith in his shed blood and his sacrifice if you believe what jesus did for you at the cross if you believe that he died and that he was resurrected on the third day that him jesus was sinless was perfect the perfect lamb of god the perfect son of god he was blameless he was perfect he was he was without sin he had never sinned he was not guilty of anything he was not guilty of any sin he had not committed any sin of his whole life he was sinless he was blameless he was guiltless but uh, he accepted to to suffer in your place in my place in our place we human beings i was guilty i was guilty of sin i have sinned i have done wrong i have committed sin i have i i, I have transgressed i have transgressed to god's laws we have all transgressed god's laws we have offended god to the righteous god we have sinned against god we have sinned against human beings against against our mothers and fathers against our brothers and sisters against against all against it to our families against it to neighbors we have sinned against it to governments we have sinned against so many people we have sinned again and again we are all sinners and we were born sinners because from the time that adam and garden of eden we were all we were all polluted with sin we were all polluted it was in our blood and we were born polluted by sin by the sin that was in our mothers and fathers we were all polluted and we were born in this way and we have sinned and we have indulged in sin and we have sinned much and we cannot be forgiven but through faith in the shed blood of jesus and his sacrifice upon the cross it is through faith in what he did on the cross blessed be god in accepting to acknowledge it blessed be god to acknowledge our sin to confess our sin to god and to repent of them 
to turn from them to say God I turn from these uh, from my sins uh, God I come to you God uh, I want to God I want God uh, I want God uh, to be forgiven Lord to God Almighty I come to you to be forgiven I repent to God I don't want uh, this kind of life anymore I don't want to uh, God uh, I don't want this kind of love of life God I want God to walk with you Lord to God I want God uh, I want God to, to be yours Lord, I come to you, Lord, and I repent, and I ask you to forgive me. I believe Jesus died in my place. I am guilty. I am a sinner. But God, to forgive me, please, forgive me, please, God, and wash me, purify me, sanctify me, God. Write my name in your in your book of life, God. Take me, Lord, God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Make me, God. Make me, God. Make me God to your your child to God through adoption. Be Lord to God, Lord to God. Be appeased, the Lord towards me, God to forgive me, God in Jesus' name. Save me, give you, give me eternal life. Glory be to God, and you shall be saved. Glory be to God, glory be to God. If you do that, you can be sure that you are saved. Glory be to God. If you are sincere, if you are, if you are sincere in that. And I've asked God forgiveness and I believe in the shed blood of Jesus. Glory be to God and ask God to adopt you. It will be reconciled to you, to forgive you, to purify you, to sanctify you, to adopt you as his child. He has done it. Believe it and be at peace. Glory be to God. You don't have to fear and walk with your God. Remain attached to your God. Love your God. Glory be to God. Love your God and be faithful to him. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Because of the shed blood of Jesus, we have been, we have been justified. We have been made righteous. We have been acquitted. We have been judged, accepted to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. And it is God's favor unto us. It is God's favor. It, it is God's blessed be God, unmerited favor. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we are now justified, acquitted, made righteous, and, and, and brought into right relationship with God by, by Christ's blood. Glory be to God by the blood of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Romans chapter 5, verse 6 to 10, it is written, while, while we were yet while we were yet in weakness powerless powerless to help ourselves at, at the at the fitting time christ died for for the ungodly christ died for the ungodly christ died in in behalf of the ungodly and we are the ungodly hmm. glory be to god now now it is now now it is an now it is an extraordinary thing for for one to give his life even for an uh, even for an upright man, though, though perhaps for a noble and lovable and generous benefactor, so someone might even dare to die. But, but God shows and clearly proves his love for us by, by the fact that while we were still sinners, Christ, Christ the Messiah, the anointed one, died for us. God, God, God shows and clearly proves His own love for us by, by the fact that while we were, we were still sinners, Christ died for us. You see? Oh, what a great love, the love of Jesus, the love of Christ, Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed one. Therefore, therefore, since we are not justified, you see? Therefore, it is written, it is written, therefore, since we are now justified, acquitted, made righteous, and, and, and brought into right relationship with God by Christ's blood, how, how much more certain, how much more certain is, 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 how much more certain is it that we shall be saved by him from the indignation and wrath of God? You see, therefore, since we are not justified, acquitted, made righteous, and brought into right relationship with God by Christ's blood, how much more we, we shall be saved by Him from the, from the indignation 
in wrath of God. Amen, amen, amen. For for if we for if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, it it is much more certain now that we are reconciled that we shall be saved daily delivered from sin's dominion through his resurrection through his resurrection life blessed be god through his life glory be to god thank you jesus glory be to god this is god's word it is written it is written for if while we were enemies we were reconciled you see we have been reconciled we we were reconciled it is done we were reconciled to god through the death of his son it it is much more certain now that we are reconciled that, that we shall be saved through his life blessed be god glory be to god we have to we have the forgiveness of our sins we have the forgiveness of our sins, of our offenses, of our shortcomings and trespasses through through Jesus shed blood, through Jesus blood, through the blood of his sacrifice, his blood shed on the cross. Blessed be God, he shed his blood once and for all. Glory be to God, he had to do it only once. Glory be to God, he had to die only once, one time. And it was sufficient to, to save us. Glory be to God. And we have forgiveness, remissions of our sins. Glory be to God. My sins have been forgiven. There's no more sin. Glory be to God to, to into to my account. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You are forgiven. If you are if you are in Christ Jesus, you are forgiven. To, you are not uh, you you are, you are not vile in the sight in the sight of God. You are not a dirty in the sight of God. God sees you beautiful. God sees you clean. God sees you. Pu God sees you pure in His sight. He sees you noble in His sight. Glory be to God. He, too, he doesn't. He doesn't see. He doesn't see you as a, as a impure, as filthy, as a, a vile sinner. He sees you as a, the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He sees you as the, the righteous. Blessed be God, you are, uh, you are righteous in His sight. Glory be to God, you are a person of integrity. Glory be to God, a person of righteousness, justified, acquitted, without guilt. Glory be to God, without shame, you don't have to be ashamed in the sight of your God. You don't have to be ashamed when you come to God. You don't have to walk being ashamed of yourself. You don't need, you don't have to be ashamed. There is no more shame on you. There's no more humiliation on you. There's no more guilt upon you. There's no no more condemnation for you who is in Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. You are forgiven. You are beautiful. You are pure. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You are sanctified. Blessed be God. Set apart for God. Glory be to God. Set apart for God. Set apart for His service. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And you are in right standing with God. Glory be to God. You are not God's enemy. You are, you are not God's adversary. Glory be to God. There is no more wrath for you. God is not angry at you. Not at all. God is not angry at you at all. On the contrary. On the contrary. God, God looks at you with tenderness. God looks at you with affection. You have all his affection. Glory be to God. God is your friend. You are friend with Jesus. We are your friend with God the Father. You are friend with the Holy Spirit. If you are in Christ Jesus, blessed be God. Glory be to God. In, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7 to 10, it is written in Him, meaning in Jesus. We, we, we have redemption, the deliverance and salvation through His blood, the, the remission which is it the forgiveness of our offenses, shortcomings and trespasses in, in accordance with the riches and, and the generosity of, of his gracious favor, which he lavished upon us in, in every kind of wisdom and understanding. Glory be to God in, in practical insight and prudence. He, God lavished upon us in, in every kind of wisdom and understanding. 
glory be to God, making making known, making known to us it, the mystery of His will, the mystery the mystery of His will, the secret of His will, of His plan and of His purpose. And, and it is and any and and it is and it is this in in accord in accord in accordance with His good pleasure. In accordance with his good pleasure, his merciful intention, which he had previously purposed and, and set forth in him, in Christ Jesus, God planned for, for the maturity of the times and, and the climax of the ages to unify all things and, and head and head them up and consummate them in Christ, but both things in heaven and, and things on the earth. You see, blessed be God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I will, I will read it again. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 to 10. In Him, meaning in Christ Jesus, in, in Jesus, in Christ, we, we have redemption. It's through, through His blood, the remission, the forgiveness of our offenses in, in accordance with the riches and the generosity of his gracious favor, which he lavished upon us in every kind of wisdom and understanding, making known to us the mystery of his will, of his plan, of his purposes. Glory be to God in, ac in, ac in accordance with the good pleasure which he had previously purpose and set for, for him. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He planned. He planned for the maturity of the time and the climax of the ages to unify all things and head and head to them up and consummate them in Christ. Both things in heaven and things on the earth. Glory be to God. So we have we have redemption through through his blood, through the blood of Jesus. We have redemption. Glory be to God. Blessed be God to be redeemed. You know, there were, there was a time there was slavery in the United States. There was slavery in the Caribbean islands. The black people had been, has been made, had been made slaves to, 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 to people of, uh, of, um, light color of skin through the, to the Europeans people. They were enslaved. They were made slaves. They were made slaves, and so they were they, these people's possession, and they were tormented, and they were shamed. They were shamed, and they were in misery. They were in misery. Imagine that. So in the same way, we human beings, we were slaves to the devil. We were slaves to the devil's kingdom. We were slaves to demons' powers. We were slaves to them. We were enslaved. We were in servitude to, to them. And they had, uh, they were do dominating over us. They, they, and we were powerless to resist them. <coughs> and we needed, to, we needed to be set free from this slavery. We needed to be set free from this slavery. And we were slave also to sin. Sin was, uh, sin, sin was running all over us and we, we were powerless against sin. We, 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 we were filled with sin. And sin is an evil power. It is a destructive power. Sin is a is really something detestable. It is something detestable. It is like when you see people on drugs and you see drugs, they are addicts to it. They are slaves to drugs. And uh, so in the same way we were slaves to sin. Try not to sin, you will see. Sin is something very powerful, but God had power to set us free. Blessed be God from sin and from the devil and from all evil powers. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. So redemption is to be set free from slavery to sin and to the devil and, uh, and to, to death. We were, we were slave to all that, slave to, uh, to fear. We were scared. We were, we were in misery. We were guilty. We were guilty and we were ashamed. We were ashamed and we needed to be set free. We were in misery and we would have gone to hell. And also we had sinned against God and God is a, is a, is a righteous judge. And because of his righteousness, he had to, he had to punish us and we had to, to go to, to prison and to prison is the prison of hell. 
it is an eternal prison but god did not want us to go to sin he wanted to forgive us and to forgive us he, he had he is he, he god who is righteous could not just forgive us and just say without any punishment without any you know without justice just forgive us just because he loves us he had to, somebody had to pay for our sin somebody had to pay justice had to be done so god had done justice on jesus jesus accepted to 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 take our punishment as a righteous man as a righteous man if he was unrighteous himself if he was guilty himself he, he could not have offered his life against our life he could not as as offered his life for our life he actually he, so because he was righteous because he lived a sinless life he was tempted and never sinned he was a uh, the, the, the devil came to tempt him remember when jesus was led by the spirit in the desert and he was tempted by the devil in many ways and uh, he resisted the devil the devil could not trap him he could not deceive him he could not seduce him he could not make him to sin because jesus because jesus glory be to god blessed be god jesus resisted the devil he resisted temptation blessed be god and so he was sinless he lived a perfect life without ever sinning against anybody even when people slapped him even when people were unjust towards him and people reviled him they slandered him they insulted him he never he never fought back he never did anything wrong he never did anything sinful he, ne he never avenged himself from anybody glory be to god he accomplished it to god he, he fulfilled god's laws perfectly glory be to god so he, he was perfect towards god's laws blessed be god the devil could not trap him the devil could not uh, trap him he, he could not make him to sin blessed be god and the devil tried many many times not just uh, not just when he was in the desert but all his life the devil tried as it today was trying to to make us into sin and we have to resist him but if we feel like if for us as for us now if we sin god is faithful and just to forgive us but as for jesus he was perfect and he never sinned and now because uh, it he took our place he took our punishment when he did not deserve any punishment so it is fair for god to forgive us because uh, uh, because an innocent had taken our place as a, as as the guilty so jesus was made guilty in our place he was made guilty and he was he was uh, he, he took our place as though he was sinful as though he was the worst of sinners and he suffered he bled and he died and he went to hell his soul went to hell but hell could not contain him hell could not hold him into hell glory be to god so he, he stripped the devil from the keys of hell he defeated the devil glory be to god and on the th third day he raised from from the, the grave blessed be god glory be to god glory be to god and he was it he was he was it a champion over the devil he conquered death and he conquered the devil blessed be god he stripped the devil of all authority the devil had of all the power the devil had glory be to god and now it is lawful it is just for god to forgive us blessed be god god's justice is, is, is satisfied glory be to god and because of that because of what jesus did we have been acquitted blessed be god we have been acquitted glory be to god we have been made righteous of our, of the righteousness of jesus he took our guilt and he gave us his own righteousness blessed be god hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah so we have redemption through his blood we have deliverance freedom from slavery to sin and freedom from slavery to the devil's hand and we have salvation from destruction and and, and salvation from damnation in hell oh thank you god thank you god thank you god in colossians chapter 1 verse 12 blessed be god verse 12 to 20 it is written giving giving thanks to the father giving thanks to the father was qualified and made us fit 
to share the portion which is the inheritance of the saints, God, God's holy people in the light. The, the Father has the Father has delivered and drawn us to Himself uh, out of the control and, and the dominion of darkness and has transferred us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have redemption through His blood. Blessed be God to the forgiveness of our sins. Blessed be God. He is, he is the exact likeness of the unseen God. The, the, the visible representation of the invisible. He is, he is the firstborn of all creation. For, for it, for it was in Him. For it was in Him, in Jesus, that, that all things were created in heaven and on earth, things seen and things unseen, whether thrones, dominions, rulers, or, or authorities, all things were created and existed through Him, but by His service and, and intervention, and, and in and for Him, blessed be God, all things were created and existed through Him, and, and in, in Him and for Him, blessed be God, and He Himself, Jesus himself existed before all things, and in him, in Jesus, all things consist, blessed be God, all things consist, cohere, and, and are held together. He, he also, Jesus also, he also is the head, the head of his body, the church, seeing, seeing is the, is the beginning, the firstborn, from among the dead, so that he alone in everything and in every respect might occupy the chief place, stand first and, and be preeminent. Glory be to Jesus. For it has, for it has pleased the Father that all, that all the divine fullness, the, the sum total of the divine perfection, powers and attributes, she should dwell in him, in Jesus permanently glory be to god and god and god purposed that through that through him the, the son through him the son all, all things should should be completely reconciled by, by to himself whether on on earth or in heaven as through him through jesus the, the, fa the father made peace but by means of the blood of his cross of his cross blessed be god oh thank you god for the cross the cross of jesus for the blood shed on the cross you see the importance of the blood of jesus do you see the importance i see the importance of the blood of jesus i see the importance of the blood of jesus through through the shed blood through the shed blood of jesus we we have we have been delivered from the fear of death and, and from all our bondage ages. Glory be to God. We have been set free. We have been delivered from the fear of death and from all the bondage. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. In Hebrews chapter 2 verse, verse 9 to 12, it is written... But but we are but but we are able to see Jesus who was right Lord and the angels for for a little while crowned with glory and honor because of his because of his having suffered death in order in order that by the, the grace the unmerited favor of God to, to us to us sinners he might he might experience a death for every individual person for for it was for it was an act. For it was an act worthy and, and, and fitting that he, glory be to God, it was an act worthy of God and fitting to the divine nature that he, for, for whose sake and by whom all things have, have their existence in, in bringing, in bringing many sons into glory, should, should, should make it a pioneer of their salvation, perfect, blessed be God. Should, should, should bring to maturity the human experience necessary to do, necessary to, to, to be perfectly equipped for his, for his office as high priest through suffering. I will repeat, for, for it was an act worthy of God and fitting, fitting to the divine nature that he, for whose sake and by whom all things have their existence in, in bringing many sons into glory, should, should make the pioneer of their 
to make a pioneer of their salvation perfect through through suffering. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Should 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 bring to should bring to the maturity of human experience and the necessary to be perfectly equipped for his office as high priest. For both for both he who sanctifies making men holy and, and, and those who are sanctified all have one father. For, for, for this reason, he is not ashamed to call them brethren. For this reason, Jesus is not ashamed to call us brethren. You see, Jesus is not ashamed of us. For this reason, he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Blessed be God. He's not afraid to call us brothers and sisters. His brothers and sisters. For, for he says, I will, I will declare, I will declare your, 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 your name to my brethren. I will declare your name to my brethren in the midst. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God, our Father. Glory be to God. In the midst, in the midst of the congregation, I will sing him. I will sing hymns of, of praise to you. And, and, and again, he says, my trust and, and assured reliance and, and confident hope shall, shall be fixed in him. And, and yet again, here I am. And, and here I am, I and the children whom God has given me. Since, since it therefore, since it therefore, these, his children share in flesh and blood. In, in, in the physical nature of human beings, he himself, Jesus himself, in a, in a similar manner, partook of the same nature. That by, that by going through death, he, he might bring to not, he might bring to nothing and make, and make of no effect he, he, him who had the power of death. That, that, that is the devil. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And also, and also that he might deliver and, and completely set free all those who through the who through the haunting fear of death were held in bondage throughout the whole course of their lives. For for as for as we all know, he Christ did not take did did not take hold of angels, the, the fallen angels to to get to give them a helping hand and. To, to give them a helping and delivering hand, but but it but it did take hold of the fallen of the fallen descendants of Abraham to reach out to them, to reach it out to to reach out to them a helping and delivering hand. So so it is so it is evident that it was essential that he be made like uh, that he may be, that he that he be made like his brethren in every respect. In, in order that he might become a, a merciful, sympathetic, and faithful high priest in, in the things related to God, to make to make atonement and propitiation for the for the people's sins. So I will repeat that verse seventeen. So so it is evident that it was essential that he be made like his brethren in every respect, in, in order that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the things related to God to make atonement and propitiation for the people's sins for 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 because for because he himself in his humanity for because he himself in his humanity has suffered in in being tempted in being tested and tried he is he is able is he, he is able Im immediately to run to the cry of assist of assist, blessed be God. So to, to run to the Christ, to the cry of of those who are being tempted and tested and tried, and and who they therefore are being exposed to suffering. Glory be to God. For for because He Himself in His humanity, Christ Jesus Himself in His humanity has suffered in being tempted, in being tempted. Is, is, is able to run to the cry of those who are being tempted and, and tested and tried. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God, that we have this, this, this great and merciful high priest. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You are our high priest. And thank you, Lord, to Jesus for having delivered us from the haunting fear of death. 
and you have delivered God, you have delivered us, Lord, from 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 the devil, God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus has set us, delivered us, and and you have set us free, completely free. Blessed be God from the haunting fear of death. Blessed be God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. If there is no more curse for us. And the devil is defeated and the devil is under our feet because of what Jesus did. Because of the blood of Jesus. So do you see the importance of the blood of Jesus? The blood of Jesus. The, the, the blood of Jesus purifies our consciences from dead works and from lifeless from life, lifeless observances. It is written in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 11 to 15. But, <coughs> but, but at that appointed time, at that appointed time when Christ appeared, when the Messiah appeared as, as a high priest of the better things that have come and, and that are, and that are to come, then, then through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not, not made with human hands. That, that is not, that is not a part of this material creation. He went, he went once for all in, into the holy of holies of heaven. Not, not by virtue of the blood of goats and calves, but by which it will make reconciliation between God and man. But, but his own blood, but his own blood, having found and secured a, a complete redemption and an everlasting and everlasting release for us blessed be god he, he, he went once for all into the holy of holies of heaven not not by virtue of the blood of goats and calves but but by 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 which it to make reconciliation be, between god and man but but his own blood having found and secured an a, a, a complete redemption an everlasting release for us for if for if the, the mere sprinkling of 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 unholy and and defiled persons with blood of goats and bulls and and with the ashes of a of a burnt heifer which is a burnt uh, a bird cow is 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 sufficient for the purification of the body how how much more sh how much more surely shall the blood of christ who by who by virtue of his eternal spirit is his own pre-existent a divine personality has has offered himself as a, as an unblemished sacrifice to god purify our consciences from dead works and lifeless observances to to serve at the ever living god glory be to god so you see the blood of jesus purifies our consciences blessed be god blessed be god from, from blessed be god from dead works and from lifeless observances the blood of jesus purifies us glory be to god thank you jesus blessed be god glory be to god thank you god thank you for the purification and the sanctification of our of our whole beings god god spirit soul and body spirit soul and body mind soul spirit conscience blessed be god imagination the blood of jesus purify our whole beings sexually blessed be god mentally morally blessed be god our personality and character everything is purified by the blood of jesus oh thank you god do you see the importance of the blood of jesus i i, I see the importance of the blood of jesus blessed be god glory be to god thank you jesus blessed be god thank you lord thank you god thank you jesus we love you lord we love you jesus it is with reason that we love you jesus blessed be god glory be to god blessed be god thank you lord thank you god thank you jesus verse 15 christ christ the messiah is christ the messiah is therefore the negotiator and medi and mediator of an entirely new agreement an entirely new agreement testament covenant a new agreement a new testament a new covenant so that so that the, the, those who so that those who are called and offered it may, may receive the, the fulfillment of the promised 
everlasting inheritance since 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 her death since her death has taken place which rescues and delivers and redeems them from the transgressions com com committed under the, the under the, the first agreement under the old agreement the old testament the old covenant oh blessed be god thank you jesus glory be to god so we have a new covenant with god we have a covenant blessed be god which is a better covenant than the covenant of marriage blessed be god we have a testament from god a testament we have an inheritance we have an agreement with god god has an agreement with us blessed be god hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god glory be to god thank you god for the agreement between you and us the covenant the testament you have given us lord blessed be god and you are faithful to your covenant god we know that thank you lord and the covenant is sealed with the blood of jesus yeah it has been sealed and ratified with the blood of jesus the blood the precious blood because because of the blood because of the blood we have freedom and confidence to come before the throne of grace to obtain to obtain mercy and find help in our times of need in hebrews chapter 10 verse 19 to 22 it is written therefore therefore brethren since, since we have full freedom and confidence to enter into the holy of holies but by the power and virtue in the blood of jesus but by this fresh by this fresh it is new and living way which he which he initiated and dedicated and opened for us through the separating curtain veil of the holy of holies that is that is through his flesh through his flesh and and since we have a, such a great and wonderful and noble priest who rules o over the house of god which is jesus let us let let us all come forward and draw near with true honest and sincere hearts in, in unqualified assurance and in absolute in absolute conviction and engendered by faith blessed be god but by that leaning of the entire human personality on god in in absolute trust and confidence in his power wisdom and goodness ha having our hearts sprinkled and purified from a from a guilty conscience and and our bodies cleansed with pure water so you see god says come to me draw to me blessed be god to come near me you are accepted blessed be god the, the, the door is open to you come to me god says blessed be god come with a sincere heart come to me god says the door is open to you come to me blessed be god god will not reject you you will not be rejected you shall not be rejected but you are accepted because of the shed blood of jesus you are free to come blessed be god to receive mercy to obtain mercy blessed be god blessed be god glory be to god blessed be god to find help blessed be god to be rescued to, to be forgiven to be delivered blessed be god to receive anything good that you want blessed be god because of the shed blood of jesus the destroyer cannot touch us blessed be god the destroyer cannot touch us because of the blood of jesus sprinkled up on us in hebrews chapter 11 verse 28 it is written by by faith by simple trust and confidence in god he meaning david meaning moses it is speaking of moses here uh, by by faith by simple trust and confidence in god he, he instituted and carried out the passover and and the sprinkling of the blood on the doorpost so 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 that the destroyer of the firstborn the, the angel the destroyer of the firstborn might might, might not touch the, those of the children of israel so you see when when, when uh, the children of israel were going out of egypt god commanded them to apply blood on the doorposts of their houses so that when the destroyer would come it would pass over them and it would and it would not kill their children their firstborn sons blessed be god so in the same way 
when when we apply the blood of jesus upon ourselves by asking god to apply the blood of jesus upon us the blood of jesus to to save us blessed be god so we shall not be we shall not be destroyed blessed be god not nothing could nothing will be able to destroy us blessed be god glory be to god blessed be god glory be to god thank you lord thank you god thank you jesus we have peace we have we have a peace and friendship covenant with god himself sealed and ratified with the blood of jesus so you see we have peace and friendship we have a peace and friendship covenant with god himself there is peace between us and god now that we are in christ jesus in christ jesus we have peace we've got we believers in christ jesus we children of god in christ jesus the redeemed of the lord we have peace with god hallelujah glory be to god in hebrews chapter 13 verse 20 to 21 it is written now now meet me to god of peace who is the author and the giver of peace who brought again from the from among the dead our lord jesus that great shepherd of the sheep by the blood that sealed and ratified the everlasting agreement blessed be god the everlasting covenant the everlasting testament meet me god strengthen complete perfect and make you and make you what you ought to be and equip you with everything good that that you may carry out his will while he himself works in you and, and accomplishes that which is pleasing in his sight through jesus christ the messiah to, to whom be the glory forever and ever to the ages of the ages amen and so be it blessed be god so i pray the same for you blessed be god i say me meet me to me Meet the God of peace, who is the author and the giver of peace, who brought again from, from among the dead our Lord Jesus, and that great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood that sealed and ratified the everlasting agreement, covenant, testament. May, may God strengthen, strengthen you, may complete you, may perfect you, may, may, may strengthen you and make you what you are to be, and may and equip you with everything good that you may carry out his will while he himself works in you and accomplishes that which is pleasing in his sight through jesus christ to, to whom be the glory forever and ever amen so be it in jesus name be because because we participate to the sprinkling of the blood of jesus we, we inherit peace in abundance we we never peace and abundance freedom from fears from agitating passions and from moral conflicts because we participate to the sprinkling of the blood of jesus we inherit peace in abundance freedom from fears from agitating passion and from moral conflicts blessed be god in, in 1 peter 1 verse 1 to 2 it is written be peter Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, writing, writing to the elect exiles of the, of the dispersion scattered abroad in Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, who, who, who were chosen and foreknown by God the Father and consecrated, sanctified, made holy, but by the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and to be sprinkled with, with His blood, may grace May spirit, spiritual blessing and, and, and peace be given you in, in increasing abundance. Blessed be God. Blessed be God that that spiritual peace to be realized in and through Christ. Freedom from fears, agitating passions and moral conflicts. And so I pray the same for you. Blessed be God who are hearing you, who are hearing me. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. I pray that. I pray me great, me, me grace. Blessed be God, may grace and peace be given you in increasing abundance. That spiritual peace is to be realized in and through Christ. Freedom from fears, from agitating passions, and from moral conflicts. In Jesus' name. And the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus cleanses, cleanses us from all sin. In 1 John 
verse 1, chapter, uh, uh, in 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, it is written, but, but if we really are living and walking into light, as he himself, as God himself is into light, we have true, unbroken fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin and guilt. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. The, the blood of Jesus keeps us cleansed from sin in, in all its forms and manifestation. The blood of Jesus. So you see, the blood of Jesus purifies us. It cleanses us from all sin. Blessed be God. And the blood of Jesus is doing a continual Continual work of cleansing us day by day from all sin. Blessed be God. Thank you, God, for the blood. If 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 we are really living and walking in the light, as in Himself is in the light, we have true fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses, removes. Blessed be God. Cleanses, removes all sin. Blessed be God. Cleanses us from all sin. And guilt, blessed be God, and keeps us cleansed from sin in, in all its forms and manifestation. The shed, the shed blood of Jesus speaks, the shed blood of Jesus speaks loud and clear of God's, of God's eternal love for mankind. Amen. Blessed be God in, in 1 John 5 verse 6 to 8, it is written, this is he who came by water. And blood, J Jesus Christ, not 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 by water only, but but by the water and the blood, and it is the and it is the the Holy Spirit who bears witness, because the Holy Spirit is the truth. So so there are three witnesses in heaven: to the Father, to the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are are one. And, and there are three witnesses on the earth, the spirit, the water, and the blood. And, and these three agree, are in unison. Their, their testimony coincides. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Thank you, God, for the shed blood of Jesus. Glory be to God. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus freed us from our sins and, and and we were made a royal race and priest to God the Father just ju just because of the blood the blood of Jesus freed us from our sins and we were made a royal race and priest to God the Father just because of the blood in Revelation 1 verse 4 to 8 it is written John jo jo John to the seven to the assembly, to the seven assemblies, to the seven churches that are in Asia, may grace, God's, may, may God's unmerited favor be granted to you, and spiritual peace, to the, the peace of Christ's kingdom from from Him who from Him who is and who was and who is it to come, and from the seven spirits, from the sevenfold Holy Spirit, be before His throne. And from Jesus Christ, it's a faithful and trustworthy witness, the firstborn of the dead, the, the, the first to be brought back to life, and the prince, the ruler of the kings of the earth, to, to him, to him who, who ever loves us and has, and has for, for all loosed and freed us from, from our sins by his own blood and formed us in, into a kingdom, a royal race, Priest to our God and Father, to Him, to to Him be, be the glory and the power and the majesty and the dominion throughout the ages and forever and ever, Amen. Be, be, behold, He is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see Him. Even those who who pierced Him and all the tribes of the earth shall gaze upon Him and, and beat their breast and mourn and lament over Him. Even so. Even so, a -a -a man, so be it. I am, I am the Alpha and the Omega, to the beginning and the end, says that the Lord to God, he, he who is and who was and who is it to come, the, the Almighty, blessed be God, the ruler of all, the Almighty, blessed be God. So the blood of Jesus 
because of the blood we were freed from from our sins and we were made a royal race and praise it to god our father blessed be god god who has become our father in, in revelation 5 verse 1 to 14 it is written and i saw i saw lying on on i saw i saw lying on the open hand of him who was seated on the throne as a scroll a, a, a book a scroll which is a book written within and on the back closed and sealed with seven seals and i saw a strong angel announcing with a loud voice who is worthy to open the scrolls and and, and who is untitled and deserves and is morally fit to break its seals and, and no one in heaven or, or on earth or onto the earth in, in the realm of the dead in Hades was able to open the scroll or to take a single look at, at its contents and I wept audibly and bitterly because no one was found fit to open the scroll or, or to inspect it then one of the elders then one of the elders said to me stop weeping see the lion of the tribe of Judah the root of David has won has overcome and conquered he, he can open the scroll and break its seven seals and and, and and there between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders i i saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes which are the seven spirits of god who, who have been sent who have been sent in, into into all the earth he, he, he then went and took a scroll from the from the right hand of him who sat on the throne and, and when he had to take in the scroll the four living creatures and the 24 elders prostrated themselves before the lamb each, each was holding a harp blessed be god a harp and and they had golden bowls full of incense full of incense fragrant spices blessed be god and and gums for burning which are the prayers of god's people the saints and now and now they sing a new song saying you are worthy to take the scroll and to break it the seals that are on it for you were slain you were sacrificed with with, with your blood for you were slain and with your blood you purchased man unto god from every tribe and language and people and nation and 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 you have and you have made them a, a kingdom a royal race and praise to our god and they shall reign as kings on the earth then i looked and i heard the voices of many angels on every side of the throne and of the living creatures and the elders and and they and they number ten ten thousand times ten thousands and and, and thousands of thousands so saying in a loud voice the deserving it is the lamb who has sacrificed it to receive all the power and riches and wisdom and might and honor and majesty glory and splendor and blessing and and i heard and i heard every created thing in heaven and on earth and onto the earth in, in hades and to the deep place to the to the place of departed spirit and, and on the sea and all that is in it crying out together to to him who is seated on the throne and to the lamb be ascribed to the blessing and the honor and the majesty and, and, and to the power the might and dominion forever and ever through the through the eternities of the eternities the, then the four living creatures the four living beings said a -a -a amen so be it and and the elders of the and the elders of the heavenly sanhedrin prostrated themselves and worshiped him who lives forever and ever amen blessed be god glory be to god so you see the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is everything to us it is everything to our salvation the blood of jesus is everything to us without the blood of jesus we would be nothing because without the blood of jesus we would be nothing 
but because of the blood of Jesus, we can reign with with Jesus. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be Jesus. Blessed be Jesus. Jesus is the is the Lamb of God who was slain. Jesus is worthy to open to the, 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 the scroll. Blessed be God. Jesus. 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 Do you see the importance of the blood of Jesus? We have we have overcome. We have overcome the devil because of the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God. In Revelation 10, verse in Revelation 12, verse 10 to 11, it is written, Then I heard a strong, a strong voice, a loud voice in heaven saying, Now, now it has come to the salvation and to power and to kingdom, the dominion, the reign of our God and to power, the sovereignty, the authority of his Christ, the Messiah. For, for the accuser of our brethren, he, he who keeps bringing before our God charges against them day and night has been, has been cast out. And, and they have overcome. They have conquered him by, by, by means of the blood of the Lamb and, and by the utterance of their testimony. By the utterance of their testimony. For, for, they, for they did not love and cling to life even when faced with death. Holding their lives cheap till they had to die for for their witnessing, and and they have overcome. They have overcome him by by means of the blood of the lamb and by the utterance of their testimony. For they, <coughs> for they, for they did not love and cling to life even even when faced with death. Holding their lives cheap till they had to die for for their witnessing. Oh, blessed be God. We have overcome the devil. We have conquered the devil. Blessed be God. We have triumphed of the devil by, by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus, and by, and by the words, by the words of our, of our testimony. Blessed be God. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus gives us eternal life. Now, right now. The blood of Jesus gives us eternal life. We have eternal life right now. I have eternal life right now. In John 6, verse 47 to 58, it is written, I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, he who believes in me, who adheres to, trust in, relies on, and has faith in me, has now, has, has eternal life, but now possesses eternal life. Jesus, this is Jesus speaking. I am I am the bread of life that gives life, the living bread. Your, your, your forefathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and yet they died. But, but this is the bread that comes from that comes down from heaven, so that anyone who may so that any anyone may eat of it and never die. I myself am the living bread that came down from heaven. If if anyone eats of this bread, he will never for if, if anyone eats of this bread, he, he will live forever. And also the bread that I shall give for the life of the world is my flesh, my body. Then, then the Jews angrily contended with one another, saying, how, how is he able to give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said to them, I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, you, you cannot have any life in you unless you eat the flesh of the, of the Son of Man and drink his blood unless you appropriate his life and, and the saving merit of his blood of his blood and he he who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life possesses now eternal life and and, and I will raise him up from the dead on the last day for for my flesh is for my flesh is true and genuine food and, and my blood is true and genuine drink. He, he who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood dwells continually in me. And I, in, in like manner, dwell continually in him. J just as the living Father sent me, I, 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 and, and I live by, by the Father, through the Father, because of the Father. E e even so, whoever continues to feed on me, whoever takes me, for for his food and is no nourished by me, shall in his shall in his turn live through and because of me. Jesus said, "This is this is the bread. This is the bread that came down from heaven. 
It, it, it is not like a manna which our forefathers ate and yet died. For he, he who takes this bread for his food shall, shall live forever. Blessed be God. So this is the importance of the blood of Jesus. This is the importance of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is our treasure. The blood of Jesus is so important to us. The blood of Jesus. So God, may God bless you and may you partake of the, uh, may you partake in the sprinkling of the blood of Jesus. May God bless you in Jesus name. Amen.